good afternoon, guys. Today I will be talking about the Port Swigger. Oh, Port Swigger. I, you can go on portswigger.net and go to your academy to kind of find out uh, where you are at and to get more uh, hands-on experience when it comes to web web app application um, and any vulnerabilities, uh, new upcoming vulnerabilities that you might find. Uh, this is actually a good tool. Someone actually um, recommended this on my uh, on the uh, on Instagram, and I gave it a try yesterday. That was my first time. I could we could actually check this right here. I'm still a newbie. Uh, my I did one out of fifty. I just started it yesterday, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I did, and uh, I probably would try to share most of my experiences uh, in my journey here. And actually, oh, I went through this um, a job interview a while ago, about a few months ago, about two, three months ago, and the manager were actually suggested that I should look into uh, Port Swigger and get myself familiarized with the vulnerabilities and hands-on experience. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one. Now, the first uh, vulnerabilities we had is our file upload vulnerabilities. Uh, it's a lot of reading. Um, but in this section, you will, learn, you will learn how simple file upload function can be used as powerful vector for a number of high uh, severity attacks. Um, and it's a lot of reading. You could get the lab here. Uh, if you are familiar f familiar with the basic concept behind the file upload vulnerability, then and if you just want to get practice, then you can access the labs. Uh, if you want to access the labs, there's a lot of hands-on experience labs here, file upload of vulnerabilities. I just sold it yesterday. So I'll just go over this again and find out what, how to fix it. Uh, but it's a lot of reading, so you guys can go ahead and read it. I'm not going to read it out loud since um, you guys can go ahead and do it at your own time. Um, but let's go ahead and try to fix the remote code uh, execution via web shell uh, upload. Um, and this is the... Um, PHP one-liner code, uh, one-liner code we will be using. Uh, let's go ahead and copy this, uh, and let's run the um, remote code of the lab. Uh, this is the lab right here. Uh, we have to solve this lab, upload a basic PHP web shell, and use it to uh, exfiltrate the contents of the file. So let's go ahead. Uh, we will access the home Carlos and secret. Uh, submit the secret using the button provided in the lab planner, a uh, lab banner. Let's go ahead and access the lab. Uh, we have the lab not sold yet. Uh, we have the blog and everything we need. And then to submit the the solution, uh, that's where we go. So let's go ahead and try to log in. Let's go to my account. Uh, the username and password they did actually give it to us. Um, I have to go back again. So let's go. Let's go back real quick and copy the credentials we need. Instead of um, clicking on this, I'll just open it in the new tab so I could uh, obviously copy this um, and paste it there. Let's go ahead and copy the username. Let's go to my account. And then the password is Peter. Uh, try to log in. And when we are logged in, <laughs> and obviously Google Chrome saying uh, the password you just uh, used in a used in a data breach to secure accounts. Obviously, this is not our password. We will never try to save it. And we have we have a functionality where we could upload our own file. So for our own file, we can just create a new uh, Notepad and then type our. Um, We could create our n new notepad and copy our one-liner right here, one, our one-liner code. And then here, past the target file, we will change that to our uh, 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 path. And then change this to our own t uh, path. Where is our... Right here, home Carlos secret is what we're looking for right now. 
I'm not sure why I keep this. Okay. Um, and then you would change this. And then save this as save this as shell dot shell one dot peach. You can save it as however you want to save it as, but I'll just save it as PHP, and then we could save it. And then what we're gonna do is right here. Where it says choose file, we will upload our file. Uploading your file, okay. Let's go back to our account and choose file. Uh, right here where we say it says shell.php.txt. Uh, one of those, uh, this, they both the same uh, file. Uh, but let's change this text. Uh, we don't need the txt since we want the last uh, extension to be PHP. Yes, do you want to change it? Yes. And then we will just upload this. And upload it. Has been uploaded. We have um, successfully uploaded our file. So what we're going to do is where we go back to home. I'll just click on one of those. Where it says uh, post on post ID dot net. Now we can go back to our... Home, Carlos, and Secret. We could access this from here. I don't know, not this one. Give me a second. So, opening here, we could try to open one of this file right here. And then should we try to uh, view page source just to see where we actually get the file from and where it has been uh, fetched uh, fetched from here we can get the source where it, uh, uh, it is being stored our shell one php so to get the shell one php we just gotta uh, get the source where it is files um avatars shell one dot php um, so we can go ahead and this is the view source. So we go back to our original and instead of post, we will copy, we will paste this. Uh, we have two, uh, so we don't need that. And then boom, we actually have the flag here. I'm pretty sure that it would be the answer for our question for uh, remote execution we go back and then submit solution and our answer would be what we just fixed and boom congratulations you solved the lab